Good morning, I'm back. Um, I seem to have lost my cameraman, so I'm just gonna uh, shoot this with one hand while I uh, turn on my Wahoo uh, element. So this is brand new. Um, power button's here. Pretty, uh, it's pretty obvious for me because I'm used to the power button being here on other devices I've used, but in case you've never used a bike computer before, this is the on button. You got a little guy on his little kicker trainer. It's kind of cute. I've already um, downloaded the one minute here, I gotta I wanna share my passcode with all you people. Um, I've downloaded the Element app. So basically what you need to do is go to the App Store and type in Element, and that's where you're gonna be able to find um, the app. And actually it's probably in, in this download app. So it's a different app than if you have the trainer. So I discovered that this morning. So make sure you download the right app. So now um, I've opened the app, and there is a fun little welcome message that I thought was pretty fun and inspiring, but um, I've skipped that. And now we're going to scan the QR code here. So there we go. It's pairing with my iPhone. Just waiting. Pair to phone. Okay. And then I say pair. And then it wants me to log in. I had to enter in a username for the Wahoo Fitness app and create a user profile, which I've done. And I also had to connect it to my Wi-Fi. Uh, I can't remember why, but I had to connect it to my Wi-Fi. Oh, so I can automatically upload my rides over Wi-Fi through my phone. So let's see, logging in to some sites also adds functionality to elements such as route, nav route navigation, segments, and more. So it looks like you can connect this with um, Apple Health, Rywa GPS, Strava, Training Peaks, blah, 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 a lot more, even Garmin Connect. So I use Strava and Training Peaks to track my progress and my rides. So I'll be doing Strava and Training Peaks, but I'll be doing that a little bit later so I don't bore you with just entering usernames and passwords. But uh, the Wahoo element has been connected. This is the home page that shows up whenever you turn it on. So I'll hit next. Now it wants to know all these details about me. Um, so I can go ahead and do that and next so let's see live track this is cool so I guess um, then other people can watch you while you're out there so if you want to find your friends and hammer them which I actually don't really do that but if I want to do that I guess I could then I uh, could do that so I'm gonna disable live track right now just because I don't really want that on yeah, okay, so it looks like it's restarting, powering off and restarting. Um, all right, now it's gonna give me a little tour. So you can go through your app, it'll give you a little tour. And once I get this thing going, I'll give you my own personal tour of what I like. So that's pretty much it for the initial startup of the Wahoo Fitness Element. Um, you can see it's rebooting again, and it looks like it's gonna get ready to go out and ride.